Well, the United States and key European allies have unequivocally stated their stance on Tuesday. There are no intentions to deploy ground troops to Ukraine, countering earlier suggestions from France. Any such deployment, warned the Kremlin, would undoubtedly escalate tensions between Russia and NATO. French President Emmanuel Macron remarks on Monday, urging a comprehensive approach to prevent a Russian victory in Ukraine, were met with mixed reactions. While emphasizing the need for decisive action, Macron acknowledged the lack of consensus among Western allies. Against the backdrop of recent territorial gains by Russian forces and escalating shortages faced by Ukrainian troops, Germany, Britain, Spain, Poland, and the Czech Republic swiftly distanced themselves from the notion of committing ground forces to the conflict. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz reinforced this position, affirming, quote, there will be no ground troops, no soldiers from European countries or NATO states deployed in Ukraine." End quote. Now this sentiment was echoed by German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius, who emphasized that such a move is not on the table for Germany. Similarly, the White House emphasized its commitment to supporting Ukraine through avenues other than ground troop deployment, urging the approval of vital security aid legislation to bolster Ukrainian defenses. In clarifying Macron's statement, French Minister Stéphane Sojourn outlined potential non-combat roles for troops, such as assistance in mine clearance, local weapon production, and cyber defense. While European leaders are now exploring alternative means to expedite military aid, such as sourcing weapons from non-European countries, there remains a cautious approach to avoid direct confrontation with Russia. The Kremlin swiftly responded emphasizing the gravity of discussing troop deployments to Ukraine from NATO countries. Dmitry Peskov, Kremlin spokesperson, underscored the significant risk posed by such actions, highlighting the potential for inevitable conflict. With Russia and the United States holding the world's largest nuclear arsenals, President Joe Biden has sounded warnings about the catastrophic consequences of a direct conflict between Russia and NATO, evoking the specter of a third world war.